Hey, how's it going? This week I got a new laptop. It's a MacBook Pro. A really great piece of hardware, except for one thing, which is this touch bar at the top. And I have to say it's absolute garbage. Um, as a programmer, I rely on pressing the escape key uh, quite a lot. And this thing is just slippy. There's no tactile feedback. I find myself clicking it by accident and uh, it ruins the whole computer for me, I have to say. Um, luckily, there is a tool called Better Touch Tool, um, which solved this. So I'm gonna open this here and it's loading my configuration, which I'll show you uh, soon after I demonstrate how this works. And uh, for me, by default, it turns off the touch bar, which is great. Um, if I sleep the computer um, and wake it up, I do get this unlocked with Touch ID, and actually this is a really great thing. I'd be very happy if Apple shipped a computer with just this thing in the corner and normal keys. But you can see it works, and this uh, the minute that I've logged into the computer, uh, the touch bar has turned off, which is great. Um, now, uh, the biggest thing for me is actually better touch bar, or better touch tool, whatever it's called, um, allows us to remap keys as well. So if I'm in full screen here, uh, this is actually my uh, escape key. Uh, it's a real, real key, which is great. Um, and I've quickly gotten used to uh, pressing this. Uh, so very happy about that. Um, the other thing is the better touch tool allows you to uh, program certain key uh, shortcuts. So you can see if I press control, a button appears. If I remove it, it takes it away. Um, if I go into that control, you can see that I get further a submenu of controls of the uh, brightness of the screen and the volume and different things, and this is completely configurable. Um, also, uh, I've created, if I press Option and Command, it runs a, a Ruby script, which goes off to YouTube and grabs the subscribers and views from my channel. All right, so you can see I'm actually recording my screen here. Uh, better touch tool isn't running at the moment. Um, the website is uh, this website here, boaster.net. Um, the tool itself is about five or ten dollars, something like that. Um, but some documentation there, I won't go into that. Um, if I start the tool, better touch tool, you'll see that actually it loads my configuration. So uh, again, if I press controls, you can see controls coming up and I can access this stuff, um, if I click option command, I get uh, YouTube subs again. Um, these are defined uh, here, these elements. Um, so there's a script for doing the YouTube, there's a controls group for doing the controls, and there's an empty action, which is actually, there's a, there's a hidden button here, and that's used to uh, remove the default text. Um, so I guess if you're installing this tool, the first thing you want to do is go to general uh, touch general touch bar settings and uh, uh, I've enabled the touch bar support and disabled everything else. So you could follow that. Um, then for keyboard, I have a single shortcut set up. Uh, so on my computer, uh, this is, I don't know what the name of that key is, but uh, if you have a US Mac, it might be a different one, but the top left key, whatever it is, uh, you can set up a shortcut to reassign it to escape. So I'll show you what, if I was to add a new one, um, let's say I was to, um, actually, how do I edit this shortcut? Okay, so if I wanted to say, I want to record the letter M to B, and I can choose all sorts of things here. And I think one of them is, um, keyboard keys, so you can choose escape here. Right, so now M has become escape. I'll remove that. So that's what makes this escape button at the top left work. Then in the touch bar, um, uh, I'll start with the controls because it's probably the easiest. So you, you can you can add a number of things here. Uh, you can add a touch bar button, a widget, or a button group. So if, if I was to add a button, um, and I will add it to a standalone, you give it a name, a new button, and you can see it immediately shows up here, and we can say that it does a keyboard shortcut or some predefined actions, and there are lots and lots of things you can do um, within here. Um, so I'm gonna remove that for now. Uh, you can also create a group. Um, 
So I have a group called controls and actually there's advanced configuration for all of these things. So here is the controls. And again, if I hold down controls, you can see it here, the advanced configuration uh, for this, you can set a color and we'll make it green. Um, if I save that, if I press controls, you can see it's green. Um, you can also uh, only show it when a particular combination of modifier keys are set. So if you always want one of these to show, you just click save and it's always there. Um, and you can see uh, it still works. Um, for me, I really like having a clean uh, black bar there. So I'm going to turn on control and I'm going to set this back to black. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then within controls, there's a set of things. There's a close uh, close button. There's a brightness slider widget. So these are, if you go add widget, there's a uh, selection of widgets that uh, you can include here. Uh, app switcher, brightness slider, volume slider. So I use the brightness, brightness slider and the volume slider and the remaining battery time. And um, let me delete that. So if I go into controls, you can see that yeah, these are the three things and uh, I've one hour left on the battery. So um, the script, uh, so this is the first script I wrote with this. It's really simple. Um, I expect over time I'm going to load uh, this tool with all sorts of utilities and things like that that are useful to me. But um, I thought it would be easy to do a, uh, a YouTube sub counter. Um, so this is, uh, if you add a widget, there's a type of widget called run Apple script and show return value, which is what we're doing here. So it's what this script here is. So if I go into advanced configuration for that, um, I gave it a name dot, dot, dot. So um, because it's, it needs to go off and load some data, you'll see that it shows the dot, 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 first of all. Um, and then it can run a Apple script, uh, something I've never done before, but um, apparently you can do shell script and point it at a, uh, executable so in this case it's a simple Ruby file and then return that value uh, so you can check the syntax here um, and you can also run it and you'll see that we'll get the text value back here and um, there's a setting for how often to run it so if we wanted to show this all the time and update it every let's say uh, 10 seconds and click Save you'll see that now appears here so if I had um, millions of subs and millions of views, this would update every 10 seconds. Um, so I'll show you what's in the script soon. Um, I'll just, I guess, go through some of these other uh, values that there are here. So you can give it an icon. Um, you can just drag in something, uh, an image in here. I, ch I went to Google Images and found a uh, YouTube square icon, which seemed to work well. Um, there's also alternates and there's uh, an alternate color as well. So um, if the result contains a particular uh, regex value, so you could put in error. So let's say if it returned error, you could say that the, uh, the, the background color should be red and the icon would be something else. Um, there's some other things around spacing and padding, which I haven't done. Um, there's also HUD, which I haven't, I haven't used before. Um, so uh, I guess I'll show you this script. So uh, this is a very simple Ruby script here. Um, there's some variables here for your channel ID and your API key. And it basically hits this endpoint to get statistics for a particular channel. Um, and this is very simple. It just uh, grabs the response, um, parses it because it's a JSON response. And then uh, you can see actually I'm invoking get stats here. Um, get stats returns this object which has subscriber count which is in here in the response and view count it adds some commas to it and then returns it but if i was to uh, comment this out and just say uh, puts one two three and save it you should see that this will update uh, within 10 seconds to one two three so this can contain whatever you like this could have uh, emoji in here as well um, so it's kind of quite flexible. All right, uh, thanks for watching. I'm excited about the possibility of replacing the junk that Apple has given us by default with some cool uh, and useful utilities and scripts. Um, if you're interested in any of that, uh, give us a sub. 
Uh, if you have any questions, ask them below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Thanks. Bye.